books I want to read this November. talk about the books that I'm looking to read this November whether I get through them or not oh it's anybody's guess but we'll try we'll, we'll do our best as as I've said in my other videos if you might if you want to go back and look at them I do suffer from low concentration so this might be a wee bit much to try and tackle in one month but I'm gonna give it a good go again looking back at a couple of my other videos I think it was my channel update I said that I was starting a book that I had started years ago but I had really enjoyed and I was wanting to read it again and that book was called The Geisha of Gion by Mineko Awasaki, I think I pronounced that right. It's a true story about a geisha who was chosen from, she was three years old, to become uh, the proprietress of a geisha house uh, and she was trained to become and she ended up one of the most foremost geishas in Japan. I ha I started, now I've already started this, in fact I'm well through it, you can see I've even annotated part of it. Uh, I'm real, it's a true story, really really enjoying it. I will do a review of it whenever I'm finished. So this is the first thing I want to do in November is to finish this book and at the moment I am at page 181 so I'm pretty just over halfway through it. Enjoying it. I'm actually enjoying it better now that I've, I've got to the bit where she's an adult and she's starting to um, perform geisha duties and coming into the rather than the childhood stuff, the childhood stuff is good, I'll do a proper book review, but I'm really, now that I'm from about a third of the way through it, I really started to get into it and into the fascinating world of the geisha. So that's book number one, that I'm gonna finish that one first before I start another one. So that's my first aim for November, to finish the geisha of Gion by Mineko Awasaki. And the next one I would like to get to is the Light Between Worlds by Laura E. Weymouth. This attract, I was attracted to this book. I, I try not to read too much about a book because I, I don't want to, uh, uh, I like to sort of go in more or less blind to a book. This one I saw because, and I was attracted to it because it said that fans of um, the Chronicles of Narnia would be, would, would like this. Um, and I love it all of C.S. Lewis's works and The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, all that kind of stuff. This is set again around the time of The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, which was around the time of wartime London. And about a family who gets swept away into a mythical world called the Woodlands. From what I can gather, it is the story takes off after they've come back. From this we're told again there's nothing I'm saying that cannot be gleaned from the back cover um, nothing spoiler because I haven't read it myself yet I don't know uh, it's the story begins as far as I can tell whenever they have come the, the sisters I think there's two sisters in the book they have come back from this mythical world and nothing has changed no time has passed and they're now getting on with their lives and they're not too sure how to go about that. One sister, from what I can gather, just wants to move on, forget about their time in the woodlands, but the other one can't forget it and wants to find a way back. So I was pretty fascinated by this, this kind of blending of fantasy and reality. Same way as C.S. Lewis did with his uh, Chronicles of Narnia series. So I'm looking forward to this, reading about the sisters, reading about the woodlands. And it is, well see that there's actually a sequel, I didn't realise that, I'm just looking at the back there and there's actually a sequel, ooh, that's interesting, I didn't know there was a sequel, I didn't know there was a sequel, oh my word, oh that would be good, if I like this, then there's another instalment, excellent, I see there is A Treason of Thorns, ooh, 
see how I get on with this one. So looking forward to that, The Light Between Worlds by Laura E. Weymouth. And the next book is Florence Grace by Tracy Rees. It says from the author of the Richard and Judy bestseller, Amy Snow. I have done a separate review for Amy Snow by the same author. I've read Amy Snow, really enjoyed it. So it's put me in the notion to read this book by the same author. Again, I don't try to look too hard at what the story is about, but from what I can gather, this is about a young, uh, a young orphan, orf orphan called Florrie Buckley, and it's set in Cornwall, and she's orphaned and is, but is quite happy with her wild, kind of mysterious life. But her life suddenly changes when she's 15 years old, and she suddenly finds herself whisked away and. Oh, says she inherits a family secret and she seems she's whisked away to London overnight and taken into this very wealthy kind of lifestyle. So I don't know why or what happened to her or how this came about, so it'll be interesting to read that. And there also appears to be a bit of a romance, so we always like a little bit of romance. So the... Uh, yeah, so if it's as good as Amy Snow, I'll be happy. I know it's a different story and everything else, but if this author has pulled off the same quality of work, I'll be very, very happy. So that's it. That's the three books I'm intending to read this November. Finish one and read the other two. Really looking forward to that. I'll do a November wrap up. Thanks for watching. See you again. Bye.